Their job is to get the kids to school safe and on time, and the double sessions for JFK, Sanchez, FBLG, and Ukudu schools means a lot more back-and-forth trips, says DPW Director Vince Ariola, who updated the oversight committee. Uh, drivers working the double sessions at both these schools are averaging about uh, approximately 40000 in overtime per pay, pay, pay period. Uh, we, and we are using bus drivers from different uh, uh, satellite stations to make sure that uh, these, these children are, are at school on time and at home at the earliest. The overtime is also putting a dent in DPW's budget. It is being paid by, 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 uh, by DPW. Uh, my position is, you know, the double sessions weren't caused by DPW. I've got to work with, with DOE and, and see if they've got the funding to reimburse us. And, and, and the way I see it, I think they should. Meanwhile, Deputy Director Linda Ibanez says they're losing a lot of drivers now to retirement. We're trying to um, increase our manpower capacity, but at the same time, um, we're seeing a mass exodus with retirement. Um, for the school bus drivers. So it's, it's a balancing act, right? And so what we're also doing is we included our supervisors and leaders. We got them to um, pick up the slack for the regular bus drivers. So um, they're able to drive to help um, with the double session. Ivana says DPW was able to hire 11 new drivers through the GCC GDOL boot camps, but they need more. A continuous hiring announcement has been published for the position. Nestor Lacanto, KOAM News.